One thing I've done that I think most people were not willing to is put on recitals every three months and not every six months and not once a year. Every 12 weeks, my students are on stage. In between, if we have extra gigs, an extra opportunity to serve a community, go to a nursing home, go to a mar farmer's market, go to a grand opening, go to a wedding, whatever it is you, you do with your students, great. But the minimum cycle is every 12 weeks. I think it's a really good rhythm because you can start a new project, finish it, perfect it, and show what you've been working on stage. Mm. Now, Why? go ahead, go ahead. Not just every three months, but I made a recital format that is very unique. Hmm. And what it is, is I think a lot of times when parents think about, oh my gosh, I'm going to take my kid to recital. It's going to be the most boring thing. <laughs> you know, and then they, they have one after another kid. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then, <laughs> I mean, it's nothing like this. <clears throat> First of all, you got parents and children full because we do not have a set program. You only have the student's name, the teacher and instrument. The audience has to guess what they just heard, whether they know the composer, the piece or the character or anything about it. I'm doing a complete interactive show. I call it a show because it's no longer a recital, a show with the audience. So that little sibling who's three year old can put their hands up that was Mary had a little lamb and they get a magic pencil Woo! and the magic pencil changes colors in your hand. You think that three year old is going to be, cannot wait to come to the next recital. Okay. Mm. So the audience have the chance to be participating, put their hands up. And the best thing about it is the performer who just came off stage is going to be giving the magic pencils to their fans, their new friends they just met in the audience. Connection, total connection to your audience. The other thing is, once the kids are taking their bow and they did great, first of all, I don't introduce them like this. The next person is Leo Warroke. The next person is Leo <laughs> And the whole audience already screams because they're taking all my energy, right? They're done with their performance. And instead of them thinking, oh, my gosh, I messed up the A flat in the basil. There is this magic cup flying towards them from me. It's a color changing cup. Aurora School Music, you know, has our mission and phone number and everything. But the most important thing is changes colors with your drinks. <gasps> so. And you can collect it in your kitchen. It never goes back. And it's basically your resume. How many cups you have, right? Mm. There is a special cookie that's a homemade cookie from one of our parents who runs her own business. It's a phenomenal cookie. You got the magic pencils. And you have a juice box. And you have stickers. I mean, dude, it's like better than a birthday party. And so... These kids want their magic pencil and the magic cup, you can only get it if you're a performer. You hmm. cannot buy it. It's something very special and I emphasize it. You can only buy magic cups.